Rivers are classified in grades of one to six. One being moving water that's very simple and straightforward. Class six being the extreme limits of what is navigable. You might find a class one on any sort of moving stretch that you could run in an open canoe with absolutely no experience. Class two will look a little more like this. You'll have some waves, possibly some rocks, but pretty much straightforward, stay in the middle, the current will take you where you want to go. Once you move into the class three realm, you're actually going to have to do some maneuvering, possibly around rocks, possibly around holes, and maybe some big waves that could swamp a canoe or flip your kayak. Once you move into the class four realm, the route is going to be hard to see from your boat. Most of the time on class four, you're going to want to get out and take a look at the route so that you can tell where you want to go and what obstacles could possibly be there that you absolutely have to avoid. On a class five section, not only are you not going to be able to see the route from your boat, but you're also probably going to have to set yourself some safety. There could be features or hazards in the river that you absolutely have to avoid to protect yourself from injury. On class five rapids, it's best left to the experts and it's always good to set a rope and have friends that know rescue skills. In a class six rapid, these rapids are rarely run and usually by teams of experts using all possible safety precautions from the bank. A lot of times a class six rapid will only be run occasionally at optimum water conditions, not necessarily something you just bomb into day after day once you're familiar with it. A good thing to keep in mind though is that anytime you're in moving current, whether it's class one, two, three, four, or five, you can encounter hazards that will upgrade the danger quite a bit. It could be a tree across the river, it could be just a log sticking straight upstream, or it could be a rock that's got an undercut corner to it. Anytime you're in moving current, you need to be aware that there could be a class danger just under the surface or possibly on the bank. So always know where you're going and always check ahead of where you're going to make sure that down tree is not in your path.